As we continue in our study of statistics, it will become necessary to check the assumption of normality. In this lecture, we're going to talk about methods to determine whether the original population is normally distributed. The first method would be to use your sample data to create a dot plot. Dot plots that look like the first one would meet the normality assumption, whereas dot plots that look like the second one would not meet the normality assumption because of the outlier here. However, dot plots are not the best method to use to check whether your data is from an originally normal population. Another option would be to form a histogram of your data. This works well for large data sets, but the shape of a histogram for a small sample does not accurately represent the shape of the population. If you have a large sample and your histogram looks like this, then you could say that your original population is normally distributed. However, a histogram that looks like the second one looks normal here, but there's a value, an outlier right here. So you would say it's not likely your data came from an originally normal population. And in this dot plot, it looks almost like there's a skew. So again, you would not say that your data came from an originally normal population. An even better method than dot plots or histograms is box plots. In box plots, again, you want to check for outliers. If the box plot for your data set looks like this one, you could say that your data is from an originally normal population. However, this one has an outlier, so you would say for this box plot, your data is probably not from an originally normal population. These are horizontal box plots. I've also given you two vertical box plots. This box plot looks like your data could come from an originally normal population because there's no outliers. Whereas in this one, there's outliers above and below the box plot, so you would say your data probably does not come from an originally normal population. The best method you could use to determine whether the original population is normally distributed is to form what's called a normal probability plot. This is our preferred method. The normal probability plot is a plot of observed data versus normal scores. The plot usually will show bounds that all the data must lie within to support the belief that the sample data come from a population that is originally normally distributed. Looking at this first box plot, I'm checking to see if there's any values that fall outside of the lower bound and the upper bound. But since all of our observed values fall within the bound, it looks like our data could come from an originally normal population. In the second normal probability plot, there's a data value that falls outside the bound. So it looks like it's probably not originally normal. Same thing in this third one, data values that fall outside or directly on the bounds. I also have two normal probability plots that do not show the bounds that all the data must lie within. Looking at the first one, it looks like there's definitely some kind of nonlinear pattern to it. And on top of that, if you were to imagine fitting bounds within here, you can definitely see that there's values that would fall outside the bounds. In statistics, a lot of times people apply transformations. This is the same data set, but after a transformation. If you continue in your study of statistics, you'll get the opportunity to learn about these types of transformations that can be used to create data that's normally distributed. Looking at this transform data set and imagining the bounds on here, you can see that all the data values seem to hover around the line running through the middle. They seem to stay within the correct bounds. These are all the methods that we will use to assess whether the data is from an originally normal distribution.